Well, today's the day when the crews find out who they're going to share their lives with over the next year. Because it's when we tell them which boat they're going to be on and with whom. So today's crew allocation, that means crew are being allocated to a boat. So they've now just discovered which boat they're going to be on. They're just beginning to meet up with those they'll be sailing with. So that's a pretty exciting event for them all. Well, it's a life-changing experience sailing around the world with Clipper. You, it's very hard to think of anything else that compares with it. It's that time together in a little capsule, really, isolated on the oceans. And you're, you've got to live with each other. You've got to get on with each other. You've got to face up to nature. You can't press the video uh, channel change button when things aren't very attractive. You've just got to battle through it all. So they do come back changed. They do come back more self-confident, more aware of themselves and their capabilities. Well, we've been waiting for this day now for so long. I mean, I was hoping to be on the dairy boat, um, but I wasn't sure until today. So to, to have that confirmed is just tremendous. Um, the reason I wanted to do this race, um, I've always had a, a romantic notion to sail around the world, but when the it was announced that the, one of the stopovers was going to be Derry. It just was too good for me, and I just thought that was a signal for me to join the race. Oh, I'm really excited. I was very glad that I got assigned to the Singapore boat because I'm a Singaporean. Um, so naturally, I'm very proud to represent my country and Keppel as well. Uh, it's been a very long journey. I signed my contract last April, and then I've been looking for sponsorship, approaching my schools and everything. And since then, the learning curve has been really, really steep because I'm doing the Yacht Master class track as well. So I've been attending like day scuba theory courses and practical, and I've just been learning a whole lot about sailing. It's going to be fun. Uh, yeah. I'm really looking forward to the Southern Ocean Lake, Australia. Just big seas, big wind, going fast. John Finley. I think the biggest challenge is going to be living on board. I'm going right the way around for the whole year, so I think it's going to be pretty challenging with having all of your creature comforts not at hand anymore. But I guess that's what with makes the race. With a bunch of people that you don't really know exactly. as well is going to be the, the interesting part, I think. Old Sarsgaard, uh, Nina Sunderland Ward, Michael Savage, Floyd Steady. The Southern Ocean in the Pacific, or maybe the, cli the climate uh, change in, uh, between Singapore and China. And I know quite many uh, people whom, uh, with whom I had uh, training before and all of them are nice fellows and I'm, and I'm, I'm happy. I'm wanting to sail in areas that I've never sailed in before because I've done a lot of sailing in the Atlantic but never across in the, the east. 